Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Dr. Mirza Nadeem Ahmed, Associate Professor, Department of Applied Chemistry, Government College University, Faisalabad. And I am going to deliver an online lecture on principles of green processes. topic is principles of uh, green processes as we know uh, the environmental issues are arising nowadays at uh, alarming rate and uh, the main reason uh, is due to different types of uh, chemical processes uh, which are going on in our chemical industries so therefore, uh, our focus is to design or to discuss the basic principles of uh, green processes. Uh, by using them, uh, we can minimize uh, the chances of uh, uh, pollution and hazard uh, to our environment and ecological system. So, uh, the basic uh, principles are as follows, as uh, I have shared uh, in this uh, lecture. So, the product manufactured by the industries uh, has been considered valuable uh, for the enhancement of our living uh, standard and also uh, for providing the services uh, to the human being. But this uh, modernization of the life uh, is not possible uh, without uh, the presence of uh, versatile chemical products. So these chemical products are used in the various ways of life uh, consisting of uh, agriculture, transportation, electronics and construction. However, the production of uh, these valuable uh, chemical materials also lead to the generation of waste, release of uh, toxic uh, substances, increased emission of uh, greenhouse gases, which consequently have huge hazardous effects on the human health and the environment. So these concerns are leading to establish a new uh, priorities which have uh, emphasis on the green ranging from products to the processes and technologies to the engineering. The engineers and scientists are working together in various research fields and they are continuously working for the acceptable uh, solutions of all these problems discussed earlier. And definitely uh, we have to uh, find out the solution uh, and meet the environmental challenges. So the efforts of these researchers and scientists uh, in the field of uh, green uh, processes have led to the, uh, to the development and enhancement of the uh, capabilities to support and to promote the innovation to solve the environmental issues. 
one of the aim of the modern gene processes and engineering is to design and develop the processes uh, which are sustainable and eco-friendly. And then outsource those processes in the industries for commercialization. So this leads uh, to the minimization of the impact of uh, chemical processes on the human health and the environment. So green processes engineering, which is uh, abbreviated as uh, GPE is explained as the design, commercialization, and use of the processes and products which are feasible and economical with the minimization of number one, uh, generation of pollution at the source, and the second one, the risk to the human health and the environment. The green engineering you know, follows the idea that it is a decision to protect human health and the environment are applied at the stage of the design and development of a process or product. This may lead to have more appropriate impact and cost effectiveness. In the past, the objectives of the process engineering was the minimization of the product cost as well as an increase of profitability without foreseeing the long long-term effects on the planet and the human health. This required a more careful approach adopted by the engineers and scientists to take technical decisions that might have significant impact on the environment and on the human. This decision may lead to either sustainability or add further to the coalescence in order to develop a common vision of protecting the planet by developing novel greener techniques and products in an environment friendly way. In the recent years, the society is facing the challenges of sustainability regarding the technology and lifestyle. They are continuously increasing global environmental concerns, including water access and use food, transportation, energy, fuel, construction, population, as well as ecological destruction. The current and future aims of the process engineering are hence not only to acquire sustainability and reduction of the cost of the products, but also the reduction of the impact on the environment and human health. The continuous development in the process engineering has resulted 
in the establishment of the green process engineering and this in regard the most important challenge is to develop innovative solution based on environmentally designed and manufacturing to reduce the generation of waste and pollutant materials to keep the product cost effective and enhancement of the capability of the product to be recycled or reuse and with the ultimate goal of introducing significant environmental improvements most companies are on a sustainability mission their parameters are to be designed which are environment friendly and they are safer to the human health so they are also designing the renewable resources in order to minimize or to reduce the emissions of the greenhouse gases and reduction of the energy cost which is very important in the perspective of environmental and social targets however in terms of complete adaptation of the sustainable processes there are great factors to be considered including the market condition effective economical regulation and acceptance by the society which is defined by the product demand to improve industrial sustainability at the process level the principles of green engineering provides a concern about the framework to address the growing concern of human health and the environment moreover this also provides a sustainable guide for green process engineering while emphasizing on the optimization of the process system and product so in 1998 the green chemistry program at the united states environmental protection agency with the mutual collaboration of the polaroid corporation uh, designed a set of principles to guide the practice of green processes the 12 uh, principles were addressed in order to reduce the pollution and its impacts on the environment and human health those principles uh, covers uh, the following points uh, shared uh, in this lecture the first one is the prevention according to this it is better to prevent waste than to treat or clean up waste after it has been created 
second point is the atom economy as we know the synthetic methods should be designed to maximize the incorporation of all materials used in the process into the final product so in other words we can say this concept addresses us to get 100% yield or 100% conversion of the starting materials or precursors into the product the third point less hazardous chemical synthesis so wherever practical wherever it is possible synthetic method should be designed to use and generate substances that poses are they have little or no toxicity to human health and environment and number 4 designing safer chemicals chemical products should be designed to affect their desired function while minimizing their toxicity the so number 5 safer solvents and auxiliary the use of auxiliary or we can say the helping the material or substances like the solvents separation agents etc should be made unnecessary wherever possible and only used in dire need designed for energy efficiency energy requirements of uh, chemical processes should be recognized for their environmental and economic impacts and should be minimized if possible synthetic method should be conducted at ambient temperature and pressure number 7 use of renewable feedstock so we should select or raw material or feedstock that is renewable and it should be renewable rather than depleting whenever technically and economically practicable reduced derivative the unnecessary derivatization means the use of uh, blocking groups protection or deprotection of groups temporary modifications the uh, of uh, physical or chemical processes all should be minimized or avoided if possible because such steps require additional reagents and can generate waste catalysis catalytic reagents as selective as possible are superior for the preparation of uh, stereo isomers and stoichiometric agents designed for degradation chemical products should be designed so that at the end of their function they break down into safer
fragment are degradable de degraded products and not and don't persist in the environment real time analysis for pollution prevention is at number 11 analytical methodologies need to be further developed to allow for real time in process monitoring and control prior to the formation of hazardous substances number 12 it inherently safer chemicals to avoid accidents substances and the form of a substance used in a chemical process should be chosen to minimize the potential for chemical accident including release of gases or toxic substances explosion and fires attempts are being made not only to quantify the greenness of a chemical process but also to factor in other variables such as chemical yield the price of reaction components safety in handling chemicals hardware demands energy profile and ease of product work up and purification green processes are increasingly seen as a powerful tool that researcher must use to evaluate the environmental impact of technology these are many academic and industrial sectors who are considering to adopt the greener and cleaner alternatives there are several applications of green processes and are extremely broad including about every industry so we conclude our lecture here with the important principles of the green chemistry allah hafiz